hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to play with the Aurora Struck from Colourpop and if you're wondering why I don't say the English way it's because I just cannot pronounce it in English so you get basically a combination of English and Dutch mm. Welcome, my name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup and being creative. Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means I'm green. I'm a light to light medium, well, warm-ish, all of so basically neutral to warm. And the relatively vintage means I am 46. I also have ADHD and I'm autistic, so... I don't know, you get heaps, you get heaps, you never know what you're gonna get with me But yeah, the uh, Aurora struck I will try to pronounce it in English once Aurora, I, see, I just cannot say it But when this one launched from Colourpop, I was like, I need the palette I need it, so I ordered it And here she is, and I'm having a lot of fun with this one and the look that I have right now I created with this palette I'm going to do three looks with this palette and I usually don't really do that with Colourpop but this just inspires me so so much and I just wanted to play with it so yeah at the end of the video I give you my thoughts if I'm happy that I grabbed it maybe some tips and tricks along the way and then all that the makeup that I have on my face will be listed down below for you to check out and I think I also have a Colourpop playlist but I'm actually not sure if I have one I will link it down below and otherwise just search Colourpop form on my channel and you will find all the videos that I did but without further ado grab a drink and a snack and put your feet up and enjoy for just an old-fashioned multiple looks video because I wanted to play with colored powders I have primed my eyes with the Essence Prime Like a Boss We're going to do green in the crease So I am going to start with the shade I'm going to start with the shade called Great Earth Which is kind of a bluey shade But we shall see what it does So let's grab a bigger brush This is going to go uh, kind of as a transition shade Cute, and the reason that I pick the eyeshadow base that I did is because it doesn't have a base shade it actually lays down a nice wash and now I'm going to go to the next brush and still with the same shade just deepen it up a little bit let's see what we can do it is a pastel shade though so next I am going to go to the shade Phenomenon which is the darkest green and we're going to deepen up what I just did that's a nice green and I'm kind of using a brush that's a little bit fluffier I'm using the Sigma E27 it picks it up nicely and it deposits it very very well I'm <laughs> changing back to the first brush and the first color Back to the darker green with a nice blending brush Okay, let's see if we can kind of deepen it up even more I uh, Shall I go to the dark blue? Sure, why not? I'm going to go to the shade Orca I know there's also a black in here, but still I'm going to <clears throat> use the dark blue Nice, it makes a nice teal Back to the green I'm just gonna put it back on the edge and blend out the dark blue a little Okay, nice the only thing though is that my sh my sweater is more yellow green and my eyes are more blue right now but that is okay let's let's go do a thing let's go do a thing i'm going to <clears throat> get my shimmer primer and i have a gel base i worked my brush in and i'm just going to tap it on my eye on top of the mat then i am going to go to the shade lunar trip in which is the black shimmer or the dark grey shimmer. I don't know. I just want to use it. I think it's a very, very pretty shade. I'm going to press that on. Oh, that's pretty. 
Let's go next for funsies. I don't know how this will work out. To the shade um, Comet Seeking, that one. Just same brush, other side. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm going to flip my brush on the border. Okay, I kind of want to brush it over a little bit as well, over the darker shade. Let's see. This is a nice, smooth shade. I am going to go to the shade uh, in Orbit, which is the, the dark green shimmer. And then to the same shimmer that I have oh, in the inner eye part area. Okay, for inner corner, I think I want to go to the shade Borealis. Oh, that's pretty. And I also want to brush that over a little. I also want it a little bit on this, a uh, little bit more on my eye. See if I can do that with my finger. Yes, and then kind of just brush it in a little. Cute. Let me finish everything off and I'll be right back. I finished off the look with a green eye pencil from V Cosmetics. In the, it's one of the Lilith liners. And this is a little bit more of a yellower green. And I thought it would kind of pull <coughs> the bluer part a little bit more towards my sweater. Uh, falsies are from Vive, the style HL2. Lippy is from Colourpop. It's one of the lip crayons in the shade City of Stars. I also used the shade uh, So Lit, this one. Kind of as a highlighter and a little bit there. So yeah, this was the first look with this palette. Let me know down below what you think of it. And let's get ready for look number two. Oh, I am going to start with this shade called Icelandic. And we'll go from there. I'm just tapping this on in the crease. Let's grab a blending brush. Blend out the edges a little. It blends very well. It looks a little bit patchy though on camera. Just going to go back in. It's weird. It looks very patchy on camera, but not in real life, which is interesting. I am going to go next to the shade... Geomagnetic, this one, which is a cooler tone brown. I'm just going to place that over and blend out the edge a little bit more. I'm back to the gray Icelandic for underneath my eye. Now I'm going to go to, to the shade Ionosphere. I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner, tapping it on, and a little bit in the crease. Okay, next I'm going to go to the black, which is called Do, Th Do South, with a very, very, I don't know, flimsy, fluffy brush. And you don't really see the color differences, but I just want to create a little bit of extra depth. I think I'm going to go to the shade No Sleep next. It's going to go in the inner eye part area. And I'm very much packing it on, but it is a pretty shade. I don't know if it will stick here though, because I've already set it. Let me spray it, because you can also spray a matte shade. It makes it a little bit more intense. Oh, that's a little bit better. Cool. Then I'm drying my brush and I'm doing the same thing for the other side. Let's go next to the shade uh, Dynamo. 
that one which is a shimmer and I am going to use my shimmer primer if I can find my brush then I dry my brush on a microfiber towel and I'm going to go into the shade uh, dynamo these are pretty uh, loosely packed so I am tapping off mm, that's cute it's a glittery one well it's really glittery but it has you know glittery particles in it so I'm just tapping it over I have a little bit of fallout but I really tapped off my brush and it is a brush that is very loose so it picks up the shadow nicely and I'm just going to basically I don't know, saturate the primer I'm just going to press it in with my finger a little bit more I am going to go next to the shade Solar Vibes which I don't know it almost looks a little bit like a topper but we will see we will see what happens I'm going to grab a little bit of uh, extra glitter primer and I have a very very small uh, brush as you can see yeah I thought so this is more of a topper which is fine I'm just really packing it on to make it a little bit more opaque creating fallout yes but that's okay I'm going to go to the shade dynamo on one side of my brush and the shade solar vibes on the other I grabbed a different brush and I sprayed the brush instead of using the glitter primer so underneath my eye I have here that uh, shadow already right so I'm actually grabbing a little bit of glitter primer and I'm tapping it over the mat and then I'm going to go back into the shade solar vibes and I'm going to kind of press it on like a topper then I'm going to go to the shade borealis for the inner corner there just fade it on I think it's kind of cute let me finish it off and I'll be I finished off the look with two eye pencils from V Cosmetics they are the Lilith liners I used the black in the outer part of my eyes and then the darker purple in the inner part and kind of smudged the transition a little bit falses are from Vive they are the half lashes in style HL Two. Lippy is a liquid lipstick from Rebel Rouge Labs in the shade Fang which is a dark purple but this is a matte and I kind of like it a little bit glossy so I grabbed from V Cosmetics from the mystery box a gloss in the band duo Theban duo I don't know it's this one but it's basically a blue with some sparkles or a no kind of I don't know what kind of color it is but I thought it would complement the ensemble very very well I don't wear dark lips like this often but I was like let me just go for it and this is the second look of the video let me know down below if you like it and let's get ready for look number three okay look number three and it's going to be kind of a neutrally look that's what I'm going for today so I am going to start with the shade let's start with bucket list yes I'm going to start as I've started before in the outer corner and the crease just tapping this shade on I'm also going to put this underneath my eye then I am going to go to the shade Midnight Sun and I'm going to deepen up the outer corner and the crease the brush picks up quite a lot and then back to the first shade bucket list and I'm also running the shade uh, Midnight Sun on top of my lower lash line I am going to go to the shade atmosphere um, but first I'm going to use my shimmer primer on my eye and then the shade atmosphere I'm going to press into the primer that's pretty going to go next to the shade head north 
and that's going to go in the inner corner. It's a very, very simple look today, but that's what I'm feeling. And then I'm going to finish it off and I'll be right back. I finished off the look with an eye pencil that is, it's not a lavender, maybe it's a taupe. I have no idea. I never know. This is from a NYX and it's called Frosted Lilac. So apparently it's a lilac. Falsies are from Baby Doll in the style 723. And Lippy is a lip liner from Christian Odette, the one with Mel in the shade Kitten, topped with a Fresh Kiss lip cream from Colourpop in the shade Off to Paris. And then that is the look of today. Let me know down below what you think of the look. And let me kind of give you my opinion on the palette and some tips and tricks. So first off, the color story. I don't I don't have to go over the color story because it's the reason that I bought the palette. Um, what I did notice though is that the shades are, they have quite a bit of kick up. If, especially if you use a looser brush. I don't mind that personally. But just so you know, tap off your brush and that um, will kind of help against fallout. And about the fallout, I did not have as many as I expected, seeing basically the looseness of the shades. I did have fallout with some of the shimmer shadows that you saw, uh, in, especially in the look yesterday or the, the look before this. But I could wipe it away very, very easily. So today I kind of had a hint of fallout as well. I think it was from this shade on this eye. But I could just wipe it away very, very easily. And I am not proficient in wiping that away, so... I'm happy about that. I think that the overall performance of the matte shades is very, very well. I think they're very nice and, and blendable. They are nice and pigmented for me. Now, they are not uh, you dip your brush in and you have an instant black spot on your eye. It's not that type of formula. But it's also not the formula that I like. So, for me... I think that I showed you kind of what this palette could do, at least on my skin tone. Now, if you're deeper, I still think that you can use the shadow. Maybe not as much as I can. I don't know. So if you have a deeper skin tone and you have this one, please let me know how it performs for you. But I feel that the darker shades as well, I'm actually pretty impressed by because they worked so, so nicely. So I could start with the dark shade and then blend that out. I could start with the lighter shade as I did today and then blend the darker one on top of it. I, I could very, very easily work with it. Now in the look of yesterday, I know that the grays looked a little bit patchy, especially on camera. In real life, it doesn't. So I think that's maybe a combination with my camera settings and I don't know, the zoomed in part, right? Uh, as far as the shimmers go, I think they're very, very pretty. I like the fact that there is also this very dark shimmer in here, but that we also still have a very deep matte. And that's the same with this. I actually think that today's eclipse, this one is maybe more of a, uh, yeah, it's, it's a matte with sparkles. I don't really care for the mattes with sparkles this yeah maybe this is the only shade that i'm like yeah i could have done without it because we already have the black some of the shimmers are a little bit more like topper shades and especially this one was very sparkly and pretty fallouty so what i did is i um in combination of using that shimmer primer also sprayed my brush to kind of let the particles stick together and stick to the brush a little bit more to minimize fallout but yeah this is a topper shade there are more topper shades in here uh, the shade that i have in my inner corner today is very very nice and shiny i think this is actually one of the first bigger palettes that i'm like yeah I can see a purpose also for, for these two shades. Now, these two shades are very similar, but the undertone is different. So it kind of looks like this one has a little bit more of a greener undertone. And this one, not. Does that make any sense? So yeah. I know I haven't used all the shades, but I used as many shades as I could in the video to still make cohesive looks that I love to wear. That is my goal with videos like this. Not only to inspire you but to show you how i use a palette like this and this is how i use a palette i love that they are monochromatic rows i love that i can mix and match and you know do kind of a neutrally look like i did today that that's also an option with this uh, but also do you know some darker looks and some more i don't know that have some more oomph 
uh, almost so yeah that was it for today uh, let me know down below if you have the palette let me know if my looks gave you some extra inspiration and if you have the palette let me know down below what you think of it that is then going to be it for today thank you so so much for watching oh i will link down below where you can find it as well uh, thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you soon in my next video bye guys Thank you.